Love your love, okay? Mm -hmm. Love your love. Love your love. I know you still got shit you gotta deal with, but... I got this shit. <sighs> Hope so. Oh, this is really good. Yes. I'm proud of you, love. I'm glad that you found something to do. That you enjoy. And you're gonna find something to do, too. Right? You really gotta say that to me where your legs are spread like this? <laughs> Today is Thursday, September 9th, 12 p.m. I've been packing all morning. I packed a bit last night. Pretty much done. Just walking around the house, taking it in. I'm a very sentimental guy. I hold a lot of things very, very close, which can also make me a hoarder, but I'm a, a, very, I'm a very charming and cute hoarder. I, I booked a hotel at my 11 hour mark down in El Paso, El Paso, Texas, I think, or somewhere. That should be a good recuperation after a drive. And I'm sure we're gonna be like going on like a couple of pit stops, but I'm gonna try not to eat too much because I don't wanna like, you know, fucking have to go shit or pee too much. But I still gotta take care of myself because valuable merchandise right here. so good when I went to my first stop to fill up our gas I brought a little snack my favorite the cookies Lennon Larry's I think Lennon I don't know that cookie the cookie I bring up all the time you know what I be talking about and I've just been listening to music just chilling in my thoughts thinking you know it's really beautiful out not a bad of a drive at all like I'm starting I'm like my confidence is growing more and more and more as I keep going because like at this point I'm in too deep, so if I want to go back, <laughs> I don't think I can. But like, no, I just keep thinking about, you know, the few cups. During this whole ride, I've just been kind of just thinking of, you know, what the future holds, um, things I'm looking forward to do. Just the excitement of like moving out for the first time and being on your own for a bit. I'm definitely in that mindset. If you've moved out already, then you know what I'm going through. Wow, looks like I'm in a Western, man. Y'all, take a look at this. the clouds that's one thing i've noticed while being out here is that the clouds and the skies are so clear compared to the suburbs in the city yeah it's beautiful baby what the fuck is that feeling good feeling great i'm on a road trip baby we're experiencing life finished the 11 hour drive very wonderful wasn't as bad as i thought but my ass does hurt right now but i booked a hotel um at the 11 hour mark i said i was gonna reach it look at these fucking helmets <laughs> they're so beautiful what the fuck? I'm like in a victorian type hotel we just checked in it's like 2 a.m i'm excited to just knock out for the night and then we got a nine hour drive tomorrow oh my god that is so pretty it's like golden doors and everything it definitely looks haunted <laughs> oh, i'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight after that very fancy victorian ass looking elevator i've arrived in my room do like a quick i've always wanted to do this i've always seen like youtube videos of people doing like room tours or room re reviews or... i've always wanted to do it but like i never had a reason to go anywhere but here i am oh hi yo your baby boy is alone in the big city. And for what? Oh, that's cute. That's the front door. Walk in. 
I've never been in a hotel room by myself. This is cute. You have that cute little cozy bed and you got like a site of like El Paso, Texas. It seems like El Paso, Texas is kind of like the downtown, like big city or whatever. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably get used to the lingo. Big ass TV there. I can watch my porn. And then there's this room over here. What's over here? Is this the kitchen? Oh no, this is the bathroom. Boop, boop. Whoa, <laughs> there's so many mirrors. I've been on the road for 11 hours. I need a break. <laughs> this is the outfit of the day, baby. This is what I've been rocking all day. Mm -hmm. Some Dickies, some Chucks, and this fine ass face. But there's like a view downstairs too. Here's the toilet. Ooh. Once again, I can't have a woman be here with me. Why can't a woman be here with me, huh? I'm going to settle in, have a little dinner or something, and just clock out for the night afterwards. I gotta like clock out and check out around like 12. We got a nine hour drive and a sec, so I'll take you along. This whole lighting here, I'm gonna work hard so that one day I can get to a moment in my life where I can like have this in my own like a bathroom. Look, it does wonders. Look at your baby boy. What the fuck? What the fuck? The fuck? I'm alone in a hotel room and for what? For what? I wanna show you guys this like beautiful ass fucking bathroom thing that's going on. This mirror is like to die for. My goodness, like a little bachelor. Not really. My heart is spoken for. This is like like a, like a scene from a movie. The lighting is like so perfect. One day, one day, I'll be you. I'll work hard, make that money, get that light. <laughs> I'm gonna come back and steal that shit. <laughs> Good sleep. This hotel room is so very charming and uh, very uh, cozy. I got a clock out before uh, 12, but I was looking around for like any places to eat. I saw a cute little vegan donut place I want to stop by, but for damn sure I was looking up any boba spots and I found one. It was like eight minutes away. My first boba down here in Texas. I got nine hours after I get something to eat. I'm gonna begin my drive down to uh, Dallas. It's early, I think I'll get there by the end of the day and I wanna show you guys the site too. This is what it looks like during the daytime. My hotel room view. Apparently there's like a lot of good eats down here. But once again, I don't want to eat too much because I still got a nine hour drive and I did pretty well yesterday with feeding myself and hydrating and all that without like making too many stops. And one last push, baby. Hey guys, so I just stopped by this little boba shop called Upbeat and it's very charming and very beautiful. I've never been in a place like this before. But they got like vintage clothing here. I got my boba order by the way. Is it okay if we go down here? No? Yeah. I've never been to a boba shop like this before. There's a Drew shirt. I'm not supposed to be wasting money. This looks really cool. Fuck. Gonna start the drive now. My new home for the next year. Nine hours and three minutes, baby. We'll get there at 10.38 p.m. We already drove like 11 hours. That's another night. So how long has it been? I got four hours and 49 minutes left. I mean, at this point, it's just like driving to Vegas. The sun was out and I thought I'd just stop. And, I don't know, get some of that golden hour in the footage, but. I, I'm in Dallas time now. So like by the time I get there, it'll be like 11. The boys are already there. This whole journey hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. My first little road trip, 20 plus hours, but like, it was like smooth sailing. Thank God I got that hotel last night. That really helped me out a lot, but. I got some little snacks and some Sour Patch Kids. And um, yeah, I'm gonna continue on my way. Y'all, I got an hour and 48 minutes left on my drive. And like, I'm just, this is straight out of a fucking horror film. And I'm talking to someone right now who keeps bringing up horror shit. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> But it's so cool, it's so charming, and I dig it so much. Cause I've never, like the, this Cali boy has never experienced anything like this. But I see like houses here, 
that look like that have lights on and like modern cars and I feel like this is just like their day to day everyday life so I guess a little Dallas boy is gonna get used to this shit for a bit but this is crazy hey guys just parked the house is looking beautiful the putting hour drive crazy but I made it I know I look tired as fuck too but I just need some food in me cozy new home I think you guys know who this is. Work. What's up, guys? I am. No, don't play it up. Just he's tired as fuck. Oh. He's good. He's good. Just, up, chill, just chill. Just chill. It's 12 um, at night right now, and the boys have been driving all day. They haven't showered yet either. Hi, baby boy. Hi. Hi. Does on mean big brother? And and yeah. it just means like no, you're like just brother. Because Kuya in Philippine in is like a big older Kuya. male. Kuya. 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 That's beautiful. Be my Kuya. I like. That. You guys are like my Kuya. Oh. Don't <laughs> be tired. Be hyper. You don't need to be hyper. Just be chill. You're still beautiful as fuck either way. See? I don't mess nah, you can be <laughs> sexy as fuck. I'm like a little, I'm not tired, but like I'm just like hella hungry as fuck. Ken got me like this vegan burger and I'm gonna munch on it. Thank you so much for coming along. Stay safe, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next vlog, okay? Mwah. Love you, baby.